with the young, they call a bit D. We stepping in the bin, you know that we D. I'm spitting crack life, you know that it D. You on my level, so take a seat. I'm doing my thing, I stay out the way. Don't care about a girl, she give it play. You say you don't don't hesitate. I was down bad, niggas still straight. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Derek Cubby. Back at it again with another YouTube video. And as y'all see by the title, I'm going to be doing a reaction video today. So I decided I want to start making these type of videos where we're we going to sit here, we're going to watch videos of like people, they got their salary. Some people maybe make it a little bit of money. Some people maybe make it a whole lot of money. And we're going to sit here and dissect what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. So I'm not going to prolong the video. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. This video is going to be about this girl. Uh, she's like a barista, a bartender or something in New York City, something like that. She makes $15,000 a year. And we're going to see how she uses her salary. I'm a part-time barista and I make about $15,000 a year and looking for full-time work. I've got about $1,500 in savings. So my general relationship with money, I definitely wish I had more. <laughs> it would definitely make living in New York easier, but I do feel like I spend too much and I need to get better at saving for sure. I have about. So we're gonna pause right there and talk about her savings. She got $1,500 in savings. Now y'all, that's not a lot, but it's something cause a lot of people don't even got like $100 in savings. $200 in savings. So I guess she okay with $1,500 in savings depending on, depending on what she's saving up for and what she's trying to do with her life. If she's trying to get somewhere or do something. But we'll see. Let's just keep going. I have about $400 in an investment app and $50 in my debit savings account. The rest of my savings is at home stashed because if not, I would definitely spend it if it was in my bank. I have a little roll and I have it like... So she just got a thousand dollars laying around the house. Yeah, that is not safe. I know like some people don't trust banks or whatever, but just having cash laying around your house, y'all, it's not safe. What if your house catch on fire? Now your money burnt up. But I mean, I guess if you get like one of them little fireproof boxes or something like that and put it in, then I guess it'll be okay, but uh to have cash laying around the house, y'all, that's not safe. Put like in a little, like, um, just like a little black bag and I keep it in my drawer. Foolproof. I do not touch it. I do not think about it. I have $5,700 in credit card debt. $700 in personal credit card debt. And then $5,000 in a shared credit card with my mother. I try to pay. Before I even come in on this, y'all, go watch my video where I talk about how to build your credit. She got $5,000 in credit card debt. 700 is on her own, 5,000 is on a shared credit card. First of all, why do you have a shared credit card with anybody? Do not do that. It just hurts my heart when I see people talking about credit card debt. Cause I just, I just, <sighs> play the video. Try to pay it off monthly if I have it. And if I don't, then I won't. My mom kind of takes care of the other one. <laughs> which I'm very fortunate. If I have spare cash monthly, I'll try to contribute to hers. With my current paycheck, I have about $1,000 to spend monthly. I just moved out of my parents' house. So month to month paying rent by myself is definitely a lot harder than living with my parents. Here's where my money goes. 350 a month on rent and utilities. I have a shared room in an apartment in the Bronx. I have two other roommates and I live with my boyfriend. I spend $15.88 on monthly subscriptions. 150 to $200 a month on car expenses. I do feel like my car is an essential part of my daily life because- You make $1,000 a month. You have $1,500 in savings and you moved out of your parents' house. You spend $200 on a car as if you don't live in New York where they have public transportation. A car is 
not necessary in New York. Now, when you live in a little old, little old place like where I'm at right now, where you can barely catch an Uber, barely catch a Lyft, and we don't got no train buses and all that stuff around here, then yeah, a car is necessary. Me getting a car, that was necessity. Or else I ain't got no way to get nowhere. But you live in New York. Like, they got the best public transportation system in the video it saves me a lot of money on transportation this gas is crazy right now <laughs> it's real right now it's like really expensive yeah and seventy dollars of savings per month that leaves about $325 for other expenses. I don't consider myself frugal. There's some weeks that I will watch what I'm spending. Some weeks that I'll just go to Sephora, I'll go online shopping, and I'll just spend like a bunch of money. Not smart. <laughs> Here's my last debit card statement. Largest purchases. Easy Pass 130. Easy Pass is for bridge tolls in New York. Whenever I'm traveling to and from my dad's house from the city, I'll just replenish it based on what kind of money I have at the moment. Apple Pay 151. These were tires that I had to buy for my car. <laughs> my dad, he's a car whiz, he knows everything, so I told him, Pick out the tires that are best for my car and I'll just like Apple pay you the money. Sprinkles Cupcakes 71. I got a bunch of cupcakes for my friend for her birthday. She don't want to do anything. $71 on cupcakes? Girl, you could have went to Walmart and got some cupcakes for like $3.99 or something. $10 at the most. Okay. You know what? We just gonna do a whole evaluation at the end. For her birthday, so I wanted to do something nice. Family Dollar for $3. Vengo Mini Vending for $10.88. Hanes $20.93. I was buying my boyfriend underwear because <laughs> he needed new ones. So it was kind of a gift. Dunkin' Donuts $11.98. This was probably like a bacon Chipotle sandwich. Really good. I'm a barista, but I don't like caffeine. Dwayne Reed $27.85. HSN $19.99. I bought my best friend Beats earbuds for Christmas in December, so it was like a payment plan. Broadway Diner, forty-two sixty. Cash withdrawal, sixty. I use my card for the most part. I don't take out too much cash, just because I feel like if I have it again, I'm gonna spend it. TGA, thirty-five seventeen. My most frequent purchases are fast food, transportation, and Amazon. I do spend a lot of money on fast food just because it's easy, um, it's convenient, I'm always on the go, and I don't have too much time at home to like cook and things like that. I do get takeout a lot. Transportation is definitely one of the biggest things that I spend my money on. I've recently have been taking Uber a lot because my car was involved in an accident. It was hit while it was parked, so I had to get it fixed. When my car was in the shop, it was really crazy. I definitely felt that money a lot more because it's like constant. I buy a lot of hair products from Amazon. I actually have this like deep conditioner for my hair that I use, my bonnets that I sleep in from Amazon. iTunes, $4.94. Quick pay, $2.49.94. I went to Cancun for my birthday, so I think my friend You make $100 a week. <laughs> you make 50 cents an hour. You save $70 a month. And you took a trip to Cancun. Continue. The package around that time. So I think I gave her like half of it then and then the other half later. PayPal 4608. I think these are actually American Eagle jeans. I think in the winter time I spent like a few hundred just like <laughs> shopping, but like I get it out of my system. Like I do it once for the season and then like I just I won't touch it until like fall or winter. Online transfer 50. PayPal 48. Quick pay 19. 11 14. 80. 120. 50. 25, five, 17. A lot of these quick pays are actually me covering my boyfriend when he overdrafts his account. I hate having cash and he loves having cash, so he'll literally take all the cash out of his account. The other day I had to call Chase and like pretend to be. So he overdraw his account and you go pay for it, but you don't got no money. First of all, let's just pause for a second. This is not even money related. Well, it kind of is, but this is about a dude. We should not be taking care of a dude. That nigga overdraft his account. That's his problem to deal with. Like, I can see if it's just 
five dollars, ten dollars. She didn't say what 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 she said. Did she say like eighty dollars and sixty dollars and eighty, one twenty, fifty dollars, a hundred and twenty dollars? You don't make no money. You got three hundred dollars to spend in a month and you spending a hundred and twenty dollars to cover a nigga account. That overdraft fee, they charged him twice. So I got him his money back. I tell him all the time, I'm like, there's no point in you having all this cash. He's a Libra, they don't listen, so. Here are my most unusual purchases. Spot dessert bar, $13.50. This is awesome for desserts, super good. They make amazing cheesecake. Very Lice Mothers, 15. A year and a half ago, I got lice. I don't know, you see this hair? I don't know how I got it. It took me like months and then like, it was, it was a hot mess. I have like so much anxiety from that. Like every few months, like I go, it was so traumatic. It's like different getting it as an adult. It's crazy. Like you always feel like something's in your hair, scratching you. I feel like one second lands like a stable job where I make like, a decent amount of money I can focus on saving like larger sums and if I did have more savings I definitely would look into buying a new car because there are problems that comes with a used car um, and yes an apartment without roommates would be easier <laughs> so that's where my money goes each month you don't have to make more money to save more money I mean yeah, if you make more money, you can save more money. But if you cut out some of your expenses, like if you stop spending money all willy-nilly, well, then you can have some more money to spend, to save, I mean. So, like, for example, let's, let's just look at what she did. She had $1,000 a month, and what she said, she spent three fifty on rent, Y'all, excuse me if y'all hear my roommate. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my roommate at the door. But she got $1,000 a month. What's that? She spent like $350 on rent, $200 on her car. That's what, uh, two, five, $550. And she said she do something else. When you're making out your budget, baby, you got to take out the money that you need for your expenses, your real, immediate real expenses that come out first off rip because they got to be covered regardless and then you save saving is the second thing you do you set up an amount that you need to save every month and then then you can go spend an extra money after you save. See, that's what people that's what people get the game twisted. They like to spend and then save what they have left afterwards. No, you gotta save first. Especially if you're trying to get somewhere. Like she wanna move into another apartment where she don't have roommates. She wanna get a new car. I don't know why she wanna buy a brand new car. Living in New York. I didn't even buy a brand new car. Bought a used car. Used cars are just fine. Just don't get one that's like 50 years old. Like, what? <sighs> okay. If she just cut back on some of the stuff that she's spending money on, like freaking $300 trips and $70 cupcakes, and if she stopped covering her boyfriend's expenses, like, this is a grown man. I'm assuming he a grown man. Y'all don't supposed to be taking care of no grown man. I ain't finna be taking care of no grown man. That's just that on that period. I promise you. Like, Step one, get rid of dude. Cause dude don't got no financial type of financial literacy or nothing. He can't, he ain't even got himself together financially. See, that that be for problem. Folks be ain't got themselves together and they go and give with somebody else who ain't got themselves together. So y'all just ain't got yourselves together, together. And can't nobody help the other person because ain't nobody better than the other person. Y'all in the same boat. <sighs> yeah, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm renting. I'm just so... All right, y'all, that's all I got for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down below anything. I don't care. Just some type of engagement to help the algorithm. And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Because, y'all, I...
I promise. But I'm finna try to be consistent. Y'all gonna see. Wait till next week. Y'all gonna see the consistency. We finna be. We finna be in there. We finna be in there. That's the goal. Don't hold me to it. But y'all. Bye. <laughs>